not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your... He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these ruins ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. Listen up, laddie. Accept your fate.
this and let your blood run cold! Goes nothing. have carried the day.
Optimizer! Are you ready for this? Let's have a nice sweet chat, shall we? We cannot hope to read the runes from here. Uh, but, your highness, I, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no. Oh, Principu. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando. Uh, what an... Uh, Unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a fallen star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy, hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, Your Highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, Your Highness? But of course! You are my hero! You are every aspiring knight's hero! To serve under your command is my life's ambition! I am honored, Your Highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to butt in, Your Highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent! I would be very much obliged. The ruins can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there!
sword. Fabulous! Up, Principal, and there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? Special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? Huh? Oh, 
though they have been here forever, since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers, or some such nonsense. They were built for something very important, I just know it. <gasps> Ooh! Maybe some kind of stage! <gasps> what a place to perform, can you imagine? some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yes, I suppose that's really a silly question. This means you must be <gasps> Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself and we all know what that means.
Now none shall challenge me. This world is mine, and mine alone. Was that the Sword of Shadows? The Lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not... Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Hmm. The kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Calasmus. What could that mean? Hmm. Why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom. Maybe he knows something. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. Aye. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your savior just yet. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, Your Majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word, Kalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Kalasmus? Hmm. Sadly, it does not. Well, if it was written on the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Important. Hmm. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've work to be getting on with. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be praying for your success. 
Yes, and if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. Oh, a clean for God. We need to ask the Sultan about that hammer that used to belong to Erwin. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan, and apparently, you law have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. The giant hammer, you say? Oh, yes! You mean the forging hammer? It has been in the royal family for generations. Ferris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. Hmm. <laughs> Aye, this is it. This is Erwin's hammer, the one we saw in the vision. Father, do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San National. <gasps> Silence! Insolent boy! <clears throat> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis' greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. But if we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. If you need it, it is yours. My nurse once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. It is said that it can beat even the hardest of metals into shape. At least, I think that is how the story goes. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. Best of luck, dear friends. I shall be expecting good news. Happy tidings. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair Mistress Miko, the rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad. Cyrus! 
this whining car! A monk spirit is equal to any monster! <sighs> this accursed wound! Till it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Oh, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you... The angry mountain. A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw, he ran for his life. I longed to hunt it. But I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon. Tatsunaga the Terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. If you choose not to help us, hope flickers and fades. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the falling rain. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. Oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls.
Get out of here! Go on, go away! <sighs> go away, or I will eat you! The beast is upon us. Stand fast! I... I am the spirit of the mountain! And I have very, very sharp claws! If you do not want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here! We're going nowhere! Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain! Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! So much for our big scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so, and they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Hmm. <sighs> we have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> for coming. We have been awaiting you, as seeds await spring. These people, my son, the travelers you spoke of? Light in the darkness? Yes, mother, they came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred. Or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my, this right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. 
That Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life, so we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No! Do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. A mother also. She hides a secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. <gasps> you will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness, the volcano's heart. Victory is ours. Car 
number one for the good. The great Silvando grows even greater. A dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... <gasps> what in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Look! Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat! Mother will not die for this! Miko must be stopped! Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. <laughs> 